Hey Jazz, Glamorgan in the county championship, a second division, your first match. How'd it go? Uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Um, oh, I got one wicket. I got my debut wicket, and um, the ball was coming out quite nicely. Considering you know I hadn't actually played a game for a while, so no, I was I was pretty pleased. And uh, yeah, it was nice to kind of get off the mark with Glamorgan as well. So it's been it's been good fun so far. <laughs> How long has it been between drinks between the times you played? Well, I think uh, I mean the last time we played was when we were here with New Zealand, so that was that was kind of my last run around uh, in terms of cricket. Um, but while while I've been away, I was in Mumbai for a couple of months, and I did some training over there and stuff like that. So I made sure I was still kind of keeping up with it, knowing that there might be an opportunity that presents itself. Okay, um, and you're still playing cricket over there with the Queen's funeral and everything coming. Yeah, yeah. So um, you know, England cricket. Obviously, we did the minute silence. Uh, we're currently playing at Lords. Um, we start. We're into day three at the moment. Um, and yeah, we had the minute silence and the the new national anthem and all of that. Um, so yeah, I, I guess I guess it's all kind of you know ongoing for us at the moment. Um, hasn't yeah it hasn't really disturbed cricket as such too much. The last time you played for our country was the second test at Lords in June. Um, it seems like such a long time ago now. So, why the hell aren't you still in that squad, mate? What happened? Oh, um, I, I guess right now, currently, New Zealand are playing a lot of white ball cricket, and um, you know, at the moment, where where I fit into that team is uh, around the red ball stuff. Um, so, for for me, I guess it's you know continuing to kind of put my best foot forward and. Hopefully, when I get back home, you know, I can I can showcase my ability with the white ball as well as to try and break into those um, white ball teams. Um, but currently, yeah, I, I realise that red ball cricket is, is where uh, New Zealand cricket see me. Um, and, and you know, at the same time, I've got to make sure that I'm, I'm taking care of that as well. Hey, Jess Patel is with us. He's in Glamorgan at the moment. Now, when you say that, have, 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 they, have they specifically said to you, OK, it's red ball and it's just that that, that, that we want you for? No, not necessarily. Um, you know, uh, I guess the great thing um, in New Zealand is, you, you know, you put the performances down and um, and if there's an opportunity, uh, you, you get that. And I, I guess the other thing is uh, being a specialist role as a spinner, you know, there's only a certain amount of spots that you can fill within the team. And currently the way that um, Ish um, and Sats and um, even Michael, who's just come into the side, uh, have been doing, it's it's pretty hard to kind of, you know, um, get a look in. So, I mean, those boys are doing well, and, and it's a specialist role. So, I, I guess I've got to either bide my time or try and, you know, um, really stamp, uh, you know, results down so I can kind of, you know, push my case a little bit more. Are you are you are you confident about your white ball bowling though? Do you think that you got something to bring? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I've always been passionate about playing as much cricket for New Zealand as possible, and. I believe I have the skill set for for all three forms, and um, you know, for me, I still enjoy uh, the white ball stuff and, and playing one day cricket and T Twenty cricket and stuff like that. So, uh, my aspirations are still to try and be able to play all three, and um, you know, whether whether more opportunities arise or not in the future, I'm not sure. But I mean, I'll keep working away at my game and keep trying to improve and keep getting better. So. <clears throat> Hopefully, if the opportunity does come, I'll be ready. Okay, so after Glamorgan finishes, you're back here, and and then how do you break back into that test side? Uh, good question. I, I guess we have four um, four four first class games, four Plunkett Shield games uh, to start the season off, and uh, it's really about just you know getting back into that um, with Central Districts and and making sure that you know I take every opportunity and. Um, and, and try and do the best that I can with, with the Red Bull. Um, it's a good lead into the season as well. And um, I guess being at Glenmorgan and getting the opportunity to play four games, hopefully I'll be, uh, you know, a bit more ready to go um, come first game of the season for us back home. No, I'll put these words, and you don't have to say it, but at the moment, I mean, it seems harder to get out of that white ball New Zealand side than it does to get in. And we were really disappointing in those three one day is in the Chapel Hadley. I mean, it looks as though the team is rife for change, or at least to try something new with the white ball, because our spinners just didn't get any any kind of purchase or anything over there. So, you know, I mean, you've you've got to rate yourself and give yourself a chance, don't you? Yeah, I mean, to a certain degree, spin bowling is a lot about confidence as well. And um, at the same time, we know how good Australia are and how strong they've been in recent times against us. And 
to be to be quite honest with you, a lot of those times in those games, we've put ourselves in situations where we could have won the game. Yep. But then you know, Australia somehow always seemed to have the edge on us. Um, so it's, it's something that, you know, obviously as, as a New Zealand team, you always want to go to Australia and beat them. And, um, you know, I guess we we just, you know, we're missing something, I guess, in, in this series. But... And saying that, I'm looking forward to the World Cup and, and seeing, um, you know, how we go against them in that. Yeah, the T20, that's in October, of course. AJ Patel is with us out of Glamorgan. Is there a day go by without somebody mentioning the 10 wickets to you? I bet not. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I still I still obviously hear it every now and then and, and people kind of come come and have a conversation with me about it. And, uh, you know, it's it's nice. And, uh, and I, I do appreciate, obviously, it's something special in cricket and something that, you know, I'll really appreciate long throughout my career yeah. and even after it's finished. And, um, it's nice to be able to share share that joy with someone else. And, um, you know, when people ask you about it, they obviously want to know how you feel, how you were feeling and what you were thinking and stuff like that. And uh, to be honest with you, sometimes I don't really have an answer. Well, most of the times I don't really have an answer because uh, one thing I know is I was I was pretty knackered um, by the end of it. So, yeah, it was, it was, it was a you know, it's a crazy, crazy time in my career and um, something that I'll cherish forever. Did you keep any mementos? Have you got a ball? Have you kept your, what you were wearing? Did you keep your bat or anything? Your parents got all that stuff? Yeah, so I've got I've got um, the, the jersey from one of the jerseys from the game and um, I've got the the match ball, um, which New Zealand cricket have, have framed up for me. Um, and I've also got a signed jersey from the Indian cricket team, which they were gracious to to give once the uh, series, uh, well, once the game was over. So that was really nice. Any list anywhere in the world, eh, Jazz, where you can say that, mate, I'm only one of three people that have done this in the whole history of the game. <laughs> I mean, that's de- I know that you've got a great career ahead of you and everything, mate, and we love you to bits, but, you know, I mean, it's just so goddamn cool. I mean, and I look, every time I talk to you, I'm going to bring it up because I love it, mate, and I loved watching it. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 crazy, isn't it? Like, it's a crazy story because of all the places to to go back to was Mumbai, um, you know, and to do it do it at my place of birth and um, you know in India against India, who obviously we know are some of the greatest players that spin around the world, and um, to be able to do it on their turf um, against them was was something special, and it was almost like it was somewhat fated. Um, so yeah, it was it was a really special moment, not only for me but my family and and everyone else who's always supported me throughout my journey as well. So it was, yeah, it was a really cool moment. And I mean, it was I was I was overwhelmed by the amount of messages. If I'm honest with you, um, you know, it was it was quite quite amazing. Was there a couple or that stood out in terms of who they were that actually got in touch with you? The couple that you think, wow. Um. Yeah, obviously, um, Anil Kumble, his message was, was quite special. Um, Sir Richard Hadley uh, sent a message through. Um, and so, so you know, some of the greats of the game and, and to kind of hear from them and, and uh, them congratulate you on, on something that you've achieved is quite special because you've always looked up to them and yeah. um, you, you realise how um, special they were as cricketers and, and how much they achieved. So... Um, to get messages from from kind of cricketing royalty was quite special, and um, yeah, that was that was kind of a very fulfilling moment, really, um, to to have those messages and uh, that kind of stuff come through. I bet but at the same time, so I keep going. Honest, it's it's really really nice, you know, when anyone really acknowledges something that you've done, um, because you know how many people are actually following your journey and. Um, you know, from friends and family because they've seen your journey right throughout and seen where you've started from, where you've come to. So to be able to share that moment with them as well is quite nice. And just to let the listeners know, Anil Kumble is one of the one of the other three that's got 10 wickets. And, of course, Sir Richard Hadley, 9 for 52 and 85 against Australia, which was our best bowling up until that point in terms of wickets in a single inning. So that's really special indeed. And your folks, I mean, I remember seeing the pictures of your folks in there. were just wild, mate. Just, I mean, you know, you know what we're all yeah. like with our mums and dads. They never really express that much emotion, do they, in front of us? But that was pretty cool. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, I'm very, very grateful um, to be to be where I am today. My parents have played a massive part, um, and you know, it meant the world to them to to kind of see me go out and do that and um they've always been very very supportive of, of my cricketing journey and um 
you know, my wife as well. Um, I've been very, very lucky, I guess, in, in the sense that my, my family's always been supportive of my cricketing journey. And it's not easy because, you know, coming from an Indian household where we are very, very family orientated and we spend a lot of time together and um, we're still currently living um, with family and stuff like that. So for them to be able to, uh, I guess, for me to make the sacrifice of going away for cricket for so for so long, so often, um, but then also them making the sacrifice not to see their son yeah. for so long, uh, it's it's quite special and rewarding. Um, I know it's not never easy, um, uh, you know, for my wife and and now my daughter as well. When you spend so much time away from home, but when you do something like that, it's quite rewarding to kind of you know repay uh, that that faith that they've shown in you and and bring that joy to them as well wonderful talking to you dude um love your career so far and you, you got so many people here that support you to bits and and what you're wearing that that um that black cap in all forms of the game so all i can say is keep fighting keep trying good luck and and um and hopefully we see uh, you know your jersey with the name on the back bowling and every single um form of cricket for new zealand in the future cheers man thank you very much thanks for having me